us next year. Hi there, I'm Katabu, the manufacturing engineer and the manager for this team. So, my job is to create a working model of the car that they can design. I did lots of research about the material that can be used for different parts of our car and choose the suitable one for our car so that it can reach its high state of performance during the competition. I did the research according to some aspects that the team focused on such as the weight, drag and the balance of the car. Just in case if some of you don't know this, the body of our car is mostly made out of basa wood. Since it's basically just a block of wood, we must cut it to make our body. We use the CNC mining machine to cut the wood and a 3D printer to produce the front and rear of our car. Uh, thanks to our collaboration with the Polytechnic Mulima of Laka, the, manu the manufacturing process was expedited since they provide us with the CNC machine and a 3D printer. We use this opportunity to make lots of prototypes of our car to make sure that every part has the perfect measurement so that it can be assembled easily. From this, we won't have to waste any of our basa wood just for testing purposes. Hello, welcome to Nexus. My name is Gabriel and I'm the graphic designer of this team. Uh, Nexus is our team name. Nexus F1 was chosen as our team name after a series of discussions between teammates and team advisors. Nexus reflects the connectivity between us members and this connection will help each and every one of us to do their part successfully. We also believe that this can be found catchy and will stand out in the crowd for any reasonable person. Our motto want to perform as a similar connotation. We feel precisely display our strength in unity to fulfill our individual tasks through mutual concern and collaboration for the greater good. Our logo is red and black. Red is a warm and positive, a semblance of power of our team and our will to become the champions. The color black displays the intangibles that make up a significant portion of our team and be it unconventional alteration and modification that we stumbled upon or had to resort to our sacrifices done through the, the duration of this project without which our end product will not have been materialized. This all had a certain aspect to what we brought to the table now. Inspiringly, dedication and due diligence are the corners of our project and I for one have the utmost confidence in my teammate for we were our honey in our sleeves and backed by qualified effort prototype, a comprehensive portfolio, a savvy business and marketing service, we will rest the way the time for more competitors. That's all from me. Our innovative 
information in marketing and product building strategies have helped us to reach out to more people and forge new partnerships. Our team makes us of strategizing new approaches, mainly SGR and DPM and LED. Help us get the corporate financial backing we needed. LED. LED stands for Learn, Analyze and Develop. It is also used as a management evaluation tool to diagnose problem in uh, to diagnose problem areas in our strategies so that they could be improved upon. Finally, in terms of collaboration, we signed an MOU or Memorandum of Understanding with Malimo Polytechnic in Malacca that had benefited us in the areas of designing and manufacturing. Experts from Malimo Polytechnic helped us in designing and manufacturing by advising us on the raw materials that are to be used and fine-tuning the speed and performance of the car. In my progress of searching sponsorships, I had high expectation on many companies but I didn't receive the amount that I expected. So the two things that I learned by joining this competition is beggars should not be choosers and something is better than nothing. Thank you. Okay, I'm Nikesh, the designing engineer of Team Nexus. So as a designing engineer, it's my responsibility to create a good and innovative design which could enable us to earn the title of F1 in schools. So I used SOLIDWORKS 2014 to bring my design into graphics where I learned SOLIDWORKS 2014 through YouTube and also manually through the internet. Okay, now the designing process is divided into two phases. Research and design phase and analyze and fix phase. For the research and design phase, I sketch a design from scratch using the research I've made from the net. And moving on to analyze and fix phase, I analyze the airflow as well as the lift and drag of my car using flow simulation which is available on SOLIDWORKS 2014. And after fixing some error, I got a good and satisfying car. Moving on to the concept. The concept of the main body of the car is basically using the concept of flying fish. Flying fish has a good aerodynamic on water, so why not on air? And for the rear wing, we use aerofoil. As aerofoil gives us a quite amount of downforce. And also for the front wing, we did a slope design. It also gives us a stable amount of downforce. And the concept for the side point is in the motion of Falcon diving. So we decided to put the air downwards as it could create a slight amount of lift to overcome the drag and also increase the rotation of our wing. Now, what we have here, the main body is this concept of flying fish. Well, flying fish shows a good aerodynamic in water, so why not on air? And for the rear wing, we use the aerofoil concept as the aerofoil gives us a quite amount of downforce. The same goes to the front wing. We needed downforce for the front wing, so we used the slope design. And now for the side port. Side port, we did the motion of a falcon diving. So, in over there, we decided to put the air downwards. And by that, this could help create a slight lift. We could overcome the drag. And also, it helps to increase the rotation on our car's wheel. So being a design engineer is not an easy road. I have gone through some challenges, such as with SOLIDWORKS. With SOLIDWORKS, I had to go through some rebuild errors. And majorly, the most biggest challenge I ever had is that I had too many ideas, but I didn't know which was the best one. So I overcome this by talking with my team and asking their opinion. So my product or want to be said my car is most probably a team's car, not an individual one. I hope our car bloodhound will get to beat the record of F1 school regional finals. That's all. We accept each other's weaknesses and overcome them as a team. And that is what makes us Nexus.